Hey friends, welcome to The Chill Zone. I'm your host, Paul, the number one authority on window air conditioners on YouTube. And today we're doing a chillax video. I'm not gonna rush through this. So if you're in a hurry, please bookmark this video and come back to it when you can kick back, relax with a cold drink. I got the iced decaf going here. Mm, that's perfect on a hot, humid day while I'm staying cool with my new LG 6000 BTU here. Now, first, let's, let me talk about my channel a little bit. It was formerly called Appliance Paul, and I've recently made the switch to Cool and Quiet, and I'm feeling really good about that as my premier content on this channel is about, yeah, you guessed it, window air conditioners. Now, usually, I'll kind of rush through a topic because my average view time on the channel is about a minute and 30 seconds long as far as uh, maintaining watch time. But today, this is not that kind of video. It's more of a uh, podcast vlogging type video where I'm just gonna chill and talk about these things casually and hopefully get your interaction um, in the comment section. So. What everybody likes to know about a new air conditioner, new model, is how loud it is. And what's interesting, I've been interested in LG for quite some time, and the specs on this say that it comes in at about 50 decibels of volume. Well, using this um, Spectroid app on Android, on the Play Store, a great app where you can monitor both frequency of a tone as well as the volume or decibels with this thing sitting right here I'm getting about 30 decibels um, coming off this unit which is really not much my refrigerator is louder than that across the room or about the same volume than that across the room so that's much less than the specs uh, on the LG website for this unit but regardless I'm very, I'm pretty happy with the volume on the LG. And again, I've wanted one of these for quite some time. It's 6,000 BTU. It's an 11.5 um, EER rating or the energy efficiency. It, I believe a unit of this size has got to be about 12 um, EER ratings to get the Energy Star certification. So this is, this is just comes in below Energy Star certification, but I'm not complaining for the price that I got on it. It's also got um, a remote. It's got different modes as far as cooling or just a dry mode for dehumidification. Of course, it's got three different fan speeds. I'm running cool right now on low fan. I pretty much always run low fan and I just kind of keep that on in the back. So I'm gonna go over some of the things I did when I picked this up. Um, just to install it, to give you guys some pro tips on how to proceed there. It is mounted in the window. Um, my apartment lease uh, requirements here do not allow screwing in mounting hardware on the bottom window sill. So instead, I've got the upper window jammed with a dowel, really pushing down and securing this. And the curtains are staying uh, pretty well secure there even without the mounting hardware or drilling into the window um, case here. And I do seal that extra using Frost King weather seal tape as always around the curtain. So that curtain's really not going in there. I like the rubberized feel of the curtain on the LG. It's a lot more substantial and those papery kind of curtains that you get with inferior units. Um, one thing I do is I applied silicone sealant. This is a pro grade silicone sealant on each side of the curtain between the, the uh, case and the curtain on each side, indoors and out, and to let that cure for 24 hours. That just really seals up that gap there because um, one criticism about this unit is the instructions here um, are not always the greatest are not great as far as how to orient the curtain and this bracket here that, that gets fitted. So you really have to kind of eyeball that stuff because the diagrams are not that great. 
But, and also the screws are really hard to get in. You just have to kind of muscle them through the case. There's no slotted screw holes or anything like that. It, it seems like you just got to muscle it through with the screwdriver, being careful not to strip the darn screws. I mean, that was a problem. So I really didn't get an airtight seal around the curtain in the case. Hence, I really picked that up with the silicone sealant. There was probably only like a millimeter of gappage. But that just ensures that you know everything is really secure and sealed because you don't want that hot air coming in around the seams. Um, also, on the upper window, the gap between the two windows that you get, I just used some closed cell foam. This is just one of those fun tubes that kids use in the water, but it's actually really good foam for wedging in any air space that you might have, which is going to... Um, keep the warm air out as well as any bugs or anything like that. So make sure you stuff foam in um, anywhere you can to make sure that you don't have any uh, air coming through. So right now I have it on cool, as mentioned, on low fan. And I really noticed the dehumidification uh, qualities of this unit. It's really drying out my room. It's so much more comfortable than when I came home earlier and my apartment was 82 degrees and it's definitely probably north of 60% humidity in here. And it's gotten much lower than that already into the 70s. I'm cooling about, uh, let's say about 200 square feet right now in this room. And this thing is rated to around 250 square feet, which is great. You know, I used to have a 5200 uh, BTU unit cooling off about the same space and which worked great. Um, so bumping up to the 6,000 BTU, you know, that extra 1,000 BTUs is really worthwhile. My previous unit was Freon cooled or R22. This is using R32, which is a hydrofluorocarbon on par with R410A. The difference being that R32 has a higher... Um, global warming potential rating, meaning, or a, a better rating, 68% better on the GWP rating than R410A. A slight downside of R32 is that it is flammable, but from all the research I've read about that, it's pretty negligible about due to the amount that's in the uh, compressor lines here, and also how well, of course, these units are made and sealed. I was checking out the motor and the lines here. There's a lot of copper back there. It seems very well made. And I actually was checking out the, um, with a flashlight, I was checking out the uh, names on the motor of the uh, fan and compressor motor. And those are manufactured by Guangdong Welling Motor Co Company. Guangdong Motor, Com Guangdong Welling Motor Company in South China, which uh, produces a lot of uh, many uh, motors uh, and components for various industries. So it's really a top of the line motor, even though LG, of course, is a South Korean company. This unit's pretty much manufactured totally in China. Now, a, a feature of the unit, which I really like, is it has a rubber uh, drain plug in the back of the unit. I've removed that where I live in New England, I only run this about three weeks to one month a summer and only during the hottest parts of the day. I do not run AC in the evening. I open my windows and get fresh air. So I'm only running this probably six hours a day for three to four weeks in the hottest time of the year. So I take out my drain plug to reduce the chances of getting or eliminate the chances of getting mold and mildew, which will infiltrate these um, with that uh, sling fan that's in the back that picks up the condensate and splashes it back against the condenser to cool it down. If you're in the south or southwest and you are running an AC 24-7, I highly recommend you keep in the drain plug to reduce um, overheating on your motor and compressor. The only thing is, is you're going to have to really watch out for mold and mildew. Put those drain pans in those, those condensate um, tablets 
which will neutralize that uh, bacteria, mold, and mildew. You can pick those up. But for me, I'm just, I really like that feature so I don't have to go drilling any holes through the case of a brand new unit, which I've done in the past, not on brand new units, but on old ones. But I wasn't, I was not about to drill in this beautiful unit. So to me, that's a real plus that LG has given us the um, option of you know removing that or not. But again, just use your own uh, discretion as far as that's concerned. But running at six hours a day for a few weeks a year, um, it's really not an issue for that motor overheating. Plus, I really only run the fan again in that lowest setting. So just talking about window ACs in general for a minute, you guys ramping up, if you're still looking for an AC and you're in a hot weather climate, get it now. Get it before the worst heat waves of summer come. You know, get online. I found this online. I got a better special online, better deal with free shipping than if I drove somewhere to the box store. I actually got this on JCPenney on a Memorial Day online sale. So really couldn't beat those values. It's just incredible shopping online, the values we get now versus going to a brick and mortar store, isn't it? I want to talk about mold for a minute. I was recently talking with a friend of mine whose wife got really sick from breathing air conditioning mold in the summer. Midsummer, she got a respiratory illness from breathing the mold in these things. I've seen so many units infested with black and green mold that friends, neighbors, buddies just throw out in the dumpster. And I have cleaned out a lot of mold in previous units. Check out my previous videos how to do that. But folks, it's a royal pain to do that. And you can never really get all the black spots out of the styrofoam, the cheap styrofoam duct, duct work, which is still my number one complaint about these window AC units is that the duct work is just really cheapo styrofoam. It's like the worst stuff you could use, but you know, it's cheap, it does insulate, but you know, to do molded plastic duct work, which would obviously raise the price significantly on these units, but you want to inspect your unit, especially if you've got a family and children around, put a uh, flashlight in there front and back and really check that out. Make sure you're cleaning out your filter, but that's just the beginning. If you've got any black mold in there at all, folks, spend the couple hundred bucks to keep your family healthy, please. The, the deals and the values you get on this stuff now is, are really great. And even just the noise, the, the volume of this, just sitting here making this video, it is not irritating and I'm sitting right next to this thing. I, I anticipated it being much louder compared, you know, in comparison to the older units I had, my previous unit, the Day Wu, the 5200 BTU, man, I think that thing was like from 2001 or 2002. And, you know, I got over, I got about 15 years usage out of that thing. The Freon uh, is a great uh, refrigerant, but with the chloro fluorocarbons, with those chlorides, they were just totally bad for the ozone layer and they've been um, banned essentially. Um, whereas these new hydrofluorocarbons don't have any chlorides in them. They're just uh, fluoride based coolants. Uh, post your comments below. Have you picked up a new window AC unit this year? What did you get? And how do you like it? How many BTUs are you using for the room? You've got, what's the noise level like? Post your comments below on the subject. I love talking about this stuff. I give LG a huge thumbs up, but as a uh, disclaimer, I just picked this up about a week ago, and I'll definitely be doing updated videos as the season goes on to talk about the durability and reliability of the unit. But right out of the gate, I'm really pleased with it. Thanks so much for staying with me on this video. It's a lot of fun just to kind of chill back in the chill zone and talk to you guys about my favorite topic. And if you've got any questions that you'd like me to cover in greater detail regarding window ACs or how to install them or tips you can do, please ask me in the comments below. I'll check it out. I'll try to give you my, I'll give you my feedback as best as possible. 
People often ask me, what about this unit? What about that unit? I am familiar with some of the brands, uh, but you can let your fingers do the walking on Amazon or any number of the reviews yourself. And I always look forward to hearing your experiences because it helps all of us make the decisions when it comes to buying time, uh, purchase time. And I found that one of the greatest things of my channel uh, personally is the feedback I get from you guys in the real life experience when we share the information when it comes time to making informed decisions as appliance consumers. You guys have a great day. Stay cool.